Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth. Thank you, thank you so much for your time to spending here to learn something new. Today we are discussing about uh, CO227 denial code. Nothing but information is requested from the patient in a medical billing. Guys, not only this scenario, every scenario in a medical billing has a three steps. One is pre-call analysis and the second one is on-call analysis. And the third one is end action on a particular claim. So pre-call analysis is nothing but uh, before calling to insurance company, you should have to do a basic analysis on a claim. For example, there is no UOB received from the insurance. You should have to check in your doctor's billing software. Does we have any information or not? So at the same time, you should have to check uh, your doctor's internal clearing house for the claim status. And also you should have to check your respective payer portal system for the claim status. And uh, for example, uh, denial is already posted in our doctor's billing software by the payment posting team. Then you should have to check on a denied status. For example, what is previous payment history? What is the previous billing history? What is the documentation history? So uh, in, this, in this way, you should have to analysis on a claim. So this is called as a pre-call analysis. So on-call analysis means during the phone call, with the representative on live call you should have to ask necessary questions right questions and you should have to get the right information from the representative over the phone call and uh, sometimes you should have to probe the right information with the insurance representative over the phone call and uh, third one is end action so you should have to take a proper action on a claim towards the resolution nothing but you should have to get the payment from the insurance company in that way you should have to take a proper action on a claim so these are the three steps are very important on any scenario in a medical billing guys if you are watching my video first time and uh, if you not yet subscribed could you please subscribe my channel pkr vibes career and growth and uh, hit the bell icon so that you will get every my video as a notifications to your mobile Okay, now we are discussing about the pre-call analysis of a information requested from the patient scenario. So generally what information is requested to the insurance companies to give the payments to the doctors from the patient we are given here. So the first information might be COB information. COB is nothing but if patient is having more than one insurance, uh, sorry, more than two insurances, then who is the primary, who is the secondary, that kind of details are required from the patient. To the insurance companies so that is called as a cob information so who will provide that information patient will provide that information to the insurance companies so once a patient is updated that information to the insurance companies then insurance company will not deny the claim this denial so they will give the payment if that information is requested from the patient nothing but if it is pending from the patient then insurance is denied this claim as a information is requested from the patient for the cob information <coughs> So here the second point is consent form details. For example, consent for treatment. Example, consent is nothing but just a permission thing. For example, a patient sh uh, uh, should sign on a document to get the treatment, for, to get the uh, medical services from the doctor. So consent is nothing but like an agreement signed by a patient from the uh, doc uh, uh, on a paper to get the medical treatment from the doctor that is consent form so that kind of form is also required to the insurance companies to give the uh, doctors to the patient this information should also updated by the patient itself and uh, accident details for example any claim if you are submitting any claim to the insurance companies workers comp companies they required injury details uh, nothing but accident details on a claim form so uh, in, in in addition to the claim form, again, they required some details, uh, 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 complete details uh, regarding that particular accident uh, details. So that kind of form also required from the patient. The, at that time also insurance will deny this claim. Generally, pre-existing condition details also uh, sometimes. So uh, this details also patient should have to update to the insurance companies. We all of you know pre-existing condition means before uh, health insurance starting, there is a some particular time period, two months, one month or six months, depending upon uh, previous uh, history diagnosis, uh, previous history illness <clears throat> of the patient. There is a uh, some particular time, uh, time period is given based on condition of illness. Some particular time period is given to the patient that is called as a pre-existing condition. 
okay now we are discussing about on call scenario uh, for the information requested from the patient scenario on call steps so first uh, for example uh, on a pre call analysis you found that okay there is no uob received from the insurance then you should have to call like this uh, uh, for example you are calling to the insurance you should have to speak like this hi this is peter i am calling from providers office checking on a claim status may i know the claim status please so uh, this question is if there is no uob for example if is already denial is posted in our billing software with with this reason co227 code then your question is hi this is peter i am calling from providers office checking any denied clarification or a denied claim status means your your claim already denied and also that denial is already posted in your doctor's billing software and you have a claim number so it is a better if you are providing claim number to them so that they will directly uh, give the status without wasting time so your next question may know the denied date and uh, your next question uh, was any letter sent to the patient uh, regarding the same for example you are asking what is the denied status then insurance representative told that okay we are required we are required cob information for example i am required cob information from the patient then you should have to next question was any letter sent to the patient for, uh, uh, regarding requesting the same cob information then for example if representative said that okay we sent a letter okay if letter sent how many times letter sent so you have to get this information from the insurance representative and uh, your next question okay you sent letter and uh, did the patient respond back for that uh, letter you should have to ask this question if the representative says that okay uh, yes your patient yes patient is already responded back okay then uh, then you got the information right you got the information cob information because patient is already uh, requested back then could you please reprocess the claim then definitely they will reprocess the claim when your patient when your nothing but whenever patient is respond respond back with the whatever required information to the insurance companies then insurance company will reprocess the claim if you are a probing over the phone call you should but you should have to probe hi uh, so you got the response right could you please reprocess the claim because you have information patient responded back then definitely the insurance representative will reprocess the claim then you can close the call take the call, claim name i mean uh, call reference and uh, if uh, if you don't know the claim status na for example take the claim number call reference number all those details so for example if no letter sent then you should have to uh, request a representative to send a request letter to a patient to get the information <clears throat> so for example uh, you don't know the uob and then at the time you should have to request that uh, denied uob could you please fax me the uob then take claim number call reference number and close the call simple guys uh, so whatever information is request, requested from the patient you should have to you should have to raise a letter request to the insurance representative could you please send a letter request to the patient to update that information that is first job if already patient responded back you should have to prove that information and reprocess the claim that is your job <coughs> okay uh, we are, now we are discussing about the end action for the scenario information requested from the patient so for example you uh, requested letters uh, request letters to the patient and the patient is never respond back then your first action is you can bill this uh, claim to the patient to get the information requested from the uh, in uh, from the patient so you have to bill patient this claim and uh, next end action for this claim is you should have to reprocess the claim <coughs> for example a request letter sent to patient and patient respond back then you should have to probe the same over the phone call okay where re the patient responded back with the right information so could you please reprocess the claim then definitely insurance representative will reprocess the claim over the phone call that is your second job the first job you can bill patient if no respond back if already letter sent back uh, already letter sent to the patient wait for some time 45 days 30 days then you can take bill patient this claim 
so i give a note point guys uh, before taking any end actions or any claims please follow your process based updates or follow your client updates in your process or or get your supervisor assistance guys if content is useful could you please like my video so that it will reaches more needy people and uh, thank you thank you for your time have a good health bye for now